Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and the University of Connecticut is building black-only living space to promote scholarship. Faced with alarmingly low graduation rates for black males, University of Connecticut is trying something it calls bold, and critics call segregation. Well, yeah, it is segregation. School's main campus and stores has launched a program slated for the fall in which 40 black male undergraduates live together on campus in on-campus housing. Proponents believe the students can draw on their common experiences and help each other make it to commencement. But others cringe at the idea of black only housing, including me, saying it turns decades of hard fought racial progress on its head. Yeah, you think? Forget about this nonsense and just treat students without regard to skin color. President and General Counsel of the Center for Equal Opportunity, Roger Clegg, told inside. Inside higher ed dot com. Yeah, I agree with this guy. Treat everybody the same. You're black, you're white, same thing. If there are students of color or who are at risk and they could use some special access to special programs, that's fine, but students shouldn't be using race as a proxy for those who who's at risk and who's going to have a hard time as a student. There are lots of what African American students who come from advantaged backgrounds and lots of non African American students who come from disadvantaged backgrounds. The guy's right. This is beyond belief. They're gonna be segregating segregating blacks. Getting them away from white students because somehow that's supposed to make them perform better. It's utterly ridiculous. This is, by the way, called uh, Scholar's House. I don't know what the two is all about. While black females are encouraged to apply to other learning communities during the UConn website, the solution doesn't appear to satisfy everyone. My immediate thought was, what? I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. An African American studies and political science major told Daily Comp Campus. I know there had to be a lot of research that went into it, but just from me, coming from a student's perspective, my initial thought was, what about black women and girls? What about us? Oh, she's right, too. You want equality, you have to treat everybody exactly the same. Duh! Unless you want to put blacks back on the plantation and, uh, put them back as, uh, sharecroppers and things like that. Do you people really want to go back to those days? I don't. So, let's see what uh, these people uh, have to say at the college. Eric Hines and you can Professor set to serve as faculty advisor to the Scholars House students. So the only current background, only current race-based group was for black males. But the administration could add learning communities based on other races, genders, and cultures. So in other words, they're going to start segregating people. You have all types of learning communities. He told FoxNews.com, if they bring forth a proposal to our Office of Programs and Learning Communities, they will be considered 
They are his executive director. So, now, you know, we get at this two ways. Either whites are too good to be living with uh, these other races, or these other races are too good to be living with whites. This is just unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. People are not happy with this, and I'm on their side on this one. This is... But listen to this, from the uh, article. Puppetry major... How the hell can you major in puppetry? Isaac Bloodworth told Daily Campus... The opposition can be rooted in racism. No, this decision is rooted in racism. The white portion of the University of Connecticut is probably not running for it. He said, yeah, people are going to go against it because they are just racist. And they see this as a form of segregation or you be getting better things than they are. It is segregation. That's the whole point. This is just utterly ridiculous. Scholars House stands for Scholastic House of Leaders who are African American researchers and scholars. What a bunch of gobbledygook. This is segregation, folks. Let's call it what it is. I don't live in Connecticut. This is ridiculous. It's segregation. It's wrong. Look at the racism by a school. If they're not graduating, kick them in the ass! And get them working! You don't segregate them, you kick them in the butt! Push them until they perform! It's as simple as that! Jeez! Well, that's it for today. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we get this stopped. This is absurd.